Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for joining today. As part of the live demo, I'm going to be representing a company called Ski Gear Co. So we manufacture ski equipment. We had striking success last year, but it's really caused us to have a customer service scenario where they could really benefit from having an easy to use internal application that helps them understand the urgency of customer calls, helps them address current inquiries immediately, and then finally to help plan for exactly how many people to have be able to support those calls. I'm going to be looking at historic data first to try and take a look at kind of coming up with some solutions to help. And a very easy way that I'm doing that is actually using this idea of notebooks. This is a feature that's now available. It's in private preview called Notebooks. And it enables me to be able to use Python, SQL, or Markdown uh, in order to be able to explore data that is stored in Snowflake. Personally, for me, I really enjoy being able to interact both with Python and SQL. So this is actually a great environment for me to work, again, directly in the SnowSite GUI. I love leveraging Streamlit applications to be able to visualize my data. So I brought in the Snowpark library as well as the Streamlit library. Let me go ahead and take a look at some of the different transcripts that are coming in from the number of different countries that we serve. You can see that we have a number that are in languages likely outside of the US. And so fortunately for me, I'm going to leverage the Cortex large language models or Cortex LLMs to be able to help me analyze this data. To start, let me go ahead and just take a look using a SQL function to be able to take a look at some of those transcripts. So what you can see is it shows me the country of origin, but it also captures the entire dialogue that went on between the agent and the customer. Now, in order for me to be able to ascertain whether or not that was a good exchange uh, that the customer was having, or if they were complaining about potentially the product not working as expected, I'm able to go ahead and use Snowflake Cortex, and I'm using the sentiment function. What this enables me to do is it automatically detects the language of input. So wide range of languages supported in 11, in fact. And I'm able to quickly score whether or not that dialogue that was happening between the agent and the customer, whether it was positive, meaning a value close to one, if it was negative, meaning a value closer to negative one, or if it was neutral in nature. So by doing this, I'm very easily able to look at my historic data and be able to quickly identify whether or not I have some difficulties or challenges that I need to address. Cortex Sentiment is only one of the number of Cortex LLM features that are available. You heard from Suha that it's a managed application, meaning you don't have to know anything about creating those large language models or trying to figure out how to deal with the infrastructure needed to support the GPUs. All of this is managed for you. Better, all of this is managed to where it runs in your customer environment, meaning none of your data is leaving your account. None of it is leaving your Snowflake perimeter. And so if I had wanted to do something as simple as, you know, summarizing that call log, I could have invoked the summarize function. Maybe I wanted to look for exact information within those transcripts. I have lots of capabilities now available in public preview for me to take a look at. So I've looked at my historic data, but now what I wanna do is I wanna deal with the fact that I have customers that are calling right now and they're having exchanges with our customer call center. We have created a Snowpipe streaming scenario where it's capturing all of the data coming in from those calls and it's scoring the sentiment directly as the data is getting loaded into Snowflake, which is very beneficial for me. That enables me to then join those new near real-time call transcripts with my existing customer lifetime value table. So that customer lifetime table has all of the history of you know, how many purchases were made, how important is that customer to me so that maybe if I'm having a negative sentiment, I might want to consider a next best action of a discount offer or something in order to make them a little happier. Now, in order for me to be able to maintain this data over time so that it is 
giving me essentially near real time uh, information, I'm going to leverage this idea of a dynamic table. This is in public preview right now. And it's such easy code. I simply am using that SQL function that I used above to join the streaming data with my existing customer lifetime table. But here's the big benefit. I can simply state with one line of code exactly what periodicity do I need in order for my data to stay current and valuable for my organization to leverage. So let's go take a look at it. You can see that this is the streaming data coming in where it's merging with my customer lifetime value. I can see all of it here. But in order to make it a little bit easier for my team to visualize exactly what that data engineering flow or that DAG look like, we have visualizations that are available to you so that you can easily see that I have brought in that streaming data. I've joined it with an existing historic customer lifetime table, and I'm doing incremental loads on a one minute basis so that I can see exactly how fresh my data really is. So what you've just seen is with one platform, I've been able to use LLMs to do something I've never been able to do before. I was then able to use this idea of dynamic tables to be able to keep my data current. So be able to bring in near real-time data and merge it, join it with my existing data in Snowflake so that I can make actionable results from that. So let's take it one step further. What I'd now like to do is I'd like to create a really easy to use internal application that my team can leverage. So let me go ahead and remind you that I had created that idea of doing a sentiment function. So again, I'm just bringing in a batch transcript that just happened and you can see the score is very good, but maybe I don't wanna track it as a batch. Maybe I wanna enable my team to be able to track this information in near real time using that dynamic table where it's bringing in that streaming data bringing it together with my customer lifetime such that it will help me be able to identify those high value customers where I might not necessarily be meeting their requirements since the sentiment score was poor. But this gives me a way to very quickly look at aggregate or in detail some of those calls that just came in. Now, if you remember, the final thing that I wanted to do is I really wanted to be able to identify and plan for exactly how many customer call agents I would need because we are a growing company to make sure that we are being able to drive the best amount of customer success. What I've done is I have loaded in historic information in regards to those calls and I've created a forecast model offline. And now what I'm doing is I'm calling that model that I've previously created and I'm wanting to score what the next 28 days look like. And it's a very, very simple application. Again, a great internal application that I can share with my team. And you can see that it is extremely performant using that Cortex ML function, where quite honestly, I didn't need to know anything in regards to ML to be able to create this. You can see it's very performant, my forecast, and kind of what was expected, all very much match what was expected. And finally, it's really easy once I create this, that I can go ahead and then share that with my customer service team such that they can use it themselves. So let me go ahead and summarize. What you've just seen in just a few minutes is how with one platform, I was able to call Cortex LLM functions where I didn't have to manage anything, everything was available to me, none of the data left my Snowflake perimeter, and I was able to generate a lot of additional value that I would never have been able to do that quickly. I was then able to make sure that I have up-to-date information scoring those new unstructured features such as sentiment or translate or summarize, be able to do that in near real time. I was then able to take a Cortex ML function where again, I didn't have to be an expert on all things ML to be able to come up with a very accurate forecast in order for me to be able to determine exactly how many folks that we would be expecting to support those calls. And so in the end, our expectation is this application is going to very much help drive better customer support.